Hello and welcome to another episode of My Blue Heaven. Today I am here to preview our upcoming Round 19 clash against the West Coast Eagles at Marvel Stadium. On Saturday, traditional time slot, 10 past two. And I did hint in my review of the Port Adelaide game that I mightn't do a preview for this game. Um, given how weak the Eagles are, but that would have been that would have been piss weak on my behalf. I've done a preview for every game this year, and yeah, it is. When you think about it, it is really really important um, to keep this to keep this winning streak going um, while we're hot, and we are hot. We are one of the hottest teams in the competition, and. I did also note in my review of that power game that have we essentially gone too early? And what I mean by that is we are we are in really good form and we needed to be. We needed to, to get out of that losing streak and get our act together because it would have been too late. But it almost feels like right now we're, we're playing – our best football, and that's going to be tested. There's no doubt about that over the coming weeks. If you look at if you look at some upcoming games, but can we can we continue this for the next period of games leading up to potentially playing final football? And I don't shy away from this that. If this is what we are capable of, and if the opposition that we have been playing have been at their best, which I have questioned, then there's no excuses not to play finals football this year. In fact, it'll be a complete failure. So we've got to keep it going against the really, really pathetic West Coast Eagles. And I mean pathetic. Although you look at their last three weeks, Nah, they were semi-competitive against Richmond last week, lost by 38 points on their home deck. Got thumped by Brisbane over there by 81. And before that, they pushed the Saints to within eight points. So have they got better? Or are those teams, St Kilda and Richmond, are they, are they or I mean St Kilda, are they sliding? And are Richmond... Have they reached a point now? We're going to just have to wait and see with the Tigers because they're, they're with us. They're with us. But have the Eagles got any better? They've certainly got some troops back. But, gee, they are, they are one of the more average – well, not average, one of the more pathetic football teams we've seen in such a long time. And that, that, that's pretty rich coming from a Carlton supporter because we've seen some fucking terrible Carlton teams over the journey. Uh, 10th v 18th, and we are knocking on the door of finals now. We're knocking on the door of the top eight. And Eagles, yeah, we've won our last four, and the Eagles haven't won since. Well, they've only won the one game. And that, you go right back to round two against the Giants, where they beat they beat the GWS. And they would, geez, they'd be ruining that loss, wouldn't they, the Giants? Because they've been, they've been the big improvers this year. Oh, wow, they, oh, to think that they got beaten by the Eagles in round two, you just shake your head at that. Percentages, us, 111. The Eagles, 48.8. That is shocking. Um, they're going to win the wooden spoon. And you look at our wooden spoons in 2018 under Brendan Bolton, our last wooden spoon, we finished with a percentage of 59.3, which was, which was fucking terrible. And in 2015, under Mick Malthouse, we finished on the bottom as well with a percentage of 64.8. But that pales into significance of the Eagles 48.8. Uh, yeah. Um, and you look at our percentage as well over the last four weeks, it has jumped from 922 in round 13 after that six-game losing streak, and it's now up to 111.4. Can we sustain that? Will it dip? It will become important, you would think, 
can we boost it this weekend? Can we just let it go up a little bit more before we face some really stiff opposition? Last four winning margins for us, 59, 60, 53, and 50. We've kicked some big scores. Gold Coast, 128. We kept them to 61. That was at the MCG. Hawthorne, 112. We kept them to 52 at the MCG. Frio, we didn't quite get the century, but we kicked 98 and kept them kept them to 45. I think it might have been a little bit wet underfoot in that game. Although it was dry, they'd had some rain. And then last week, under the roof at Marvel, we kicked 122 points and kept Port Adelaide to 72. We go back. We can't ignore our last game against the West Coast Eagles. And that started a terrible, a terrible run for them in regards to margins. We thumped them by 108 points. But that was on the back of two successive losses for us. We forget that. We got beaten by Adelaide, then St Kilda. And then we handed that absolute shack, shellacking to the Eagles at Optus Stadium. And then we won. Then we lost the next six in a row against Brisbane, the Western Bulldogs, Collingwood, Sydney, Melbourne, and Essendon. We don't want a repeat of that. We have actually had two really big wins against the Eagles in, in, our, in our last two occasions. We uh, beat them by 61 points last year at Optus Stadium. And even when... We were crap, and I mean crap. The Eagles never really completely humiliated us. I mean, they had some big wins, but not massive wins. Even in 2018, when they won the flag against the Pies and we finished on the bottom, we pushed them all away at the MCG. So um, I would like to continue that trend against the Eagles. I would like to continue that pain on Saturday at Marvel Stadium. So you look at that 108-point loss, and we don't forget that. It was their first 100-point defeat for the years, the West Coast Eagles, and they've copped some belting since. 46 to Richmond. Mm -hmm. Wasn't a huge loss. But then it was 70 points to the Suns. That was at Optus Stadium. 116 points to the Hawthorne. I think that may have been in Tassie, 63 to Collingwood, 122 to Adelaide, 171 points to the Swans. Now, I mentioned the last three weeks before. The sides. I mean, I'll just quickly talk about the Eagles. And, I mean, they lose Jeremy McGovern. Concussion, Reuben Gibney, one of their rising stars, top 10 draft pick from last year, Hammy, Oscar Allen under an injury cloud with a shoulder injury, but he did play out the rest of the game against the Tigers last week. In fact, got better when he came back on because he was getting his pants pulled down by Noah Bolter early in that game and lifted with a sore shoulder. So you expect Oscar Allen will play and he's a good footballer. He's a very, very good footballer. They won't be able to consider Elliot Yo. Um, injured at the moment, Jarmaine Jones, Jai Kelly, Jake Waterman, who's sick, Liam Ryan, who's been out most of the season, won't be back, Nick Nat as well, won't be back, Connor West, they're all still injured, but they might get back Jack Petrocelli, small forward with a bit of pace, and Josh Rotham, I notice, is ready to come back in, and we, yeah, will he want to come back in for this game, considering Charlie kicked pretty much all of his nine goals on Josh Rotham uh, back in round seven. Uh, they've still got they've still got nine or ten premiership players from 2018 playing in this side, but they're a lot of them at the back end of their career. Barras, Hearn, Duggan, still young, Darling, Cripps, Sheed, Shuey, Cole, all played last week. So you would think they should be better than what they are. And they've got Gaff, who started as a sub last week. Tim Kelly, SBS, Jaden Hunts, Witherden, who I've picked up from other teams, experienced players. Uh, but, yeah, and they've got a handful of youngsters who haven't really impressed Stone a little bit. I like their Ruckman. I must admit, I like their Ruckman, Bailey Williams. He has a real dip. He has a real dip. But I'm not going to speak about the Eagles because... We're wiping the floor with this mob. We really are. 
uh, we're wiping, wiping the floor with them. We just have to. We lose Harry. Knee. Big bloke. I'm, gonna, I'm fascinated to see how we structure that. I think it will be relatively conservative. Relatively conservative. Uh, do we go small? Do we bring in a big? Do we swap, change? Not quite sure, but just thinking about Voss, I think it will be think it will be conservative. I really do. Boyd out suspended. Really disappointing three week suspension for Jordan Boyd, who is really starting to show some good signs. Who replaces him? Will it be a small defender? Because Boyd showed a real real appetite to lock down. Um, he's a real fighter. And we most likely lose Adam Chera, our best player this season, with some hamstring tightness. I don't think they'll risk him this week. Dow was the sub last week. Will he come into the team? It hasn't happened so far this year. He's always been the sub. Will he get that opportunity against the West Coast Eagles um, to show his worth? We can't consider Kennedy, obviously. Oh, he was late out last week, and the word is he's going to miss a couple with calf tightness. That... That is actually becoming a consistent thing with Matthew Owies, those soft tissue sort of calf issues. And on Mark Pitnett, the club says he continues to be a week-to-week -week assessment. Not quite sure what that means. Does that mean he's available for this week? If he is, does he come in? Does that mean TDK, is, TDK goes forward? Just going to have to wait and see. We have actually a plethora of players who are in reasonable touch at VFL level. In fact, really good touch. Marchbank knocking on the door. He will need to come in at some, st some stage out of contract. Bins, youngster, still hasn't played a game, racking up lots and lots of numbers at VFL level. Hollands, I think he was an emergency last week, um, is back from injury. Carroll, starting to show some form. Coward, will he come in for Boyd? Seems, a, a, seems like a, a good replacement and has had senior experience this year. And obviously, Lewis Young, who was unlucky to be omitted after the Fremantle win, was dropped for the game against Port Adelaide last week. The only thing, guys, I do not want to see, which will probably happen, is I want to podcast Ed Kerno, Lockie O'Brien, and Lockie Plowman. I just don't want to see it. I just, I just don't want to see it. Um, and is that disrespectful? I don't think so. I just, I just feel like I want to see something, you know, something younger, something that may be part of the future of this football club. I don't see Ed and Plowman as, 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 as future players beyond this year. And I certainly don't think O'Brien, although he is contracted for next year, as a, lot, as a viable option as well. Anyway, that's a wrap. Well, not so much a wrap. That's a preview for our game against the West Coast Eagles, guys. Um, rest assured, though. Rest, I'm going to finish off this. You think we are capable. If you think we are capable and our best is good enough, we've got to, we've got to continue on. We've got to continue on and roll the West Coast Eagles next week, then get into Collingwood next week. And anything but a finals appearance this year is a complete and utter failure. Speak soon.